Alright, so it is that time of the month again when the PlayStation Plus games are revealed. Over on the PlayStation blog today, we got the reveal of September's free PlayStation Plus games. And, and and for trophy hunters, unfortunately, they're 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 not they're not so good. They're uh, they're 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 hard ones, but they are really good games. Let's take a look. All right, so PlayStation Plus's games for September have been revealed. September's free PlayStation Plus games: PUBG and Street Fighter V. Now, if that's all you're here for, then those are the two games: PUBG and Street Fighter V. Both really awesome, awesome games, but from a trophy perspective, both of them are terrible games. They're both really, really difficult and time-consuming platinums. But yeah, actually both are difficult and time-consuming, to be fair. One is much more difficult than the other, though. So, yeah, September's games. These are both coming out on September 1st, so keep that in mind. It means that you have till September 1st to download Fall Guys and Call of Duty what is it? Is it Black Ops? No, it's Modern Warfare at the moment. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Fall Guys will stop being free on the 1st of September. So if you haven't already got those, while you're watching this video now, go and add them to your cart, download them, or just add them to your library so that you keep them forever. Remember, you keep every game forever, but if you miss the chance to put it into your cart, you'll miss out. So 1st of September. Um, okay, so these two games here. I'm going to have full trophy guides and roadmaps up for these videos. They'll be popping up probably in the next hour or so up on the channel, so by the time you guys are watching this, hopefully you'll be able to see those guides as well, which will explain exactly what you need to do in more detail on how to get the Platinums in each of these games. But as a bit of a top line, I guess, a bit of a top line review of how difficult these are, let's start with Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V is a fantastic game. It took a little bit of getting there, and when it first launched way back when, I think it was like 2016 now when this game came out, it was a bit rough. But since then, Capcom has continued to grind away at this one, doing updates to the game and, and making it a really, really decent competitive fighting game. If you haven't played Street Fighter V or you don't own Street Fighter V, this is a great opportunity. This is an awesome AAA fighting game, easily one of the best fighting games on the platform as well. So it's well worth checking out if you haven't already. Now, platinum wise, th this is hard. Over on PSN profiles, they're saying the game is a 10 out of 10 in terms of difficulty. So it's it's like one of the hardest platinums. I, I, I don't think it's a 10 out of 10, I think it is probably more like a 9 out of 10 from my personal perspective, having a look at the trophies. I don't have this platinum by the way, I'm just going from what it looks like here. Uh, and they're saying it's going to take you around 150 hours to earn the platinum trophy. Now there's really three trophies that cause this level of difficulty and this level of challenge. The first is win or die trying, which is for clearing survival mode on normal difficulty. Th th this mode basically requires you to finish 30 consecutive fights in one single life without dying. So it's obviously slightly challenging. You've got to be pretty good at the game to be able to get this. It's not one that you can just boost or grind. It's something you've actually got to be good at. Now, this then filters up into an even more difficult trophy called Back From Hell. And this is for finishing 100 fights on survival mode, basically, in one single life. Which means you have to be very, very good at the game. You're going to have to be just super skilled at it. And, like, some people will be able to cheese this to a certain point. But your life is just slowly going to be whittled down as you go. And it's really a battle of attrition when it comes down to it. So you, you have to be good at Street Fighter and Street Fighter style games to be able to do this. And there's also one other trophy tied to this exact same survival mode for finishing 50 fights. So those are the three sort of tiers of difficulty that, that build into this one trophy. Uh, a true warrior's spirit, a win or die trying, a true warrior's spirit, and back from hell. And those are really the platinum breakers for a lot of people. They are both difficult and time consuming, but I guess that's what pushes the difficulty rating up. Obviously this trophy guide was written back in 2016 and we've had other more difficult games than this come out since then, which is why I say it's more like a 9 out of 10 as per 2020 standards. However, this is not like, th that's not saying this is easy. This is really, really hard. So take it with a grain of salt if you're going to go for this one as well. There's also a ton of grindy stuff in this game, which is just, it's just going to take you a long time to earn. Not only just getting good at it, but also grinding away at it. So if you're after this one, it's not for the faint of heart, to be honest. Now the other game that came out is PUBG. PUBG is, as everyone knows, the original Battle Royale, I suppose. This was kind of the big Battle Royale game before Fortnite. It's a little bit more realistic than Fortnite. In terms of trophies, this one here on PSM Profiles, we have a guy by Smithy. Uh, he said the game is about a 4 out of 10 in terms of difficulty, which I probably agree with in terms of overall difficulty. And he said it's going to take you around 150 hours. 
And, you know, I think it's probably about right, given that you have to replay the game so many times. Battle Royale obviously means that if you die, you die, you have to start another round, and you're just gonna have to keep playing so many rounds of the game to get good enough, you know, and, and understand the mechanics of the game and, and everything else. Uh, the, the few things that are challenging in this one, the first is for Master Assassin, and this is for getting 1,000 player kills. Obviously, like, it's 100v100 every round, which means that realistically, even if you're really good at the game, you're probably only getting between five to seven kills per round. A round might last for 15 or 20 minutes, which again is just why it pushes, obviously, A, the number of rounds you have to play up and the length of time to earn the platinum up. It's just gonna be a time consuming platinum. Now, while a thousand kills isn't necessarily hard, just because, you know, realistically, if you do a thousand matches and you get one kill per match, then you have this trophy, but a thousand matches is gonna take you so much time. So that's the first kind of grindy trophy. The second grindy trophy is for killing 50 other players with grenades. Grenades are kind of a weapon that's not really used much in PUBG, at least I find that, like unless you're in a house and battling somebody in. Uh, so like, it's yeah, yeah, first like you've got to find the grenade, which kind of makes things like a bit more situationally difficult. And then you have to find a time or a place where you can use a grenade to finish somebody off. So it's either like when you're in the final circle at the very end, or like when you're in close quarters, that's kind of when I've found they've been useful. Look, I'm not an expert at PUBG, I've just played a little bit of it. And uh, yes, yeah, so you've got to get 50 kills with grenades. And they're the two that are basically the, the, the most time consuming, I would say, in this game. Now there's a ton of other trophies that are difficult in this game, and I'll go over those in more detail in my full trophy guide and roadmap on how to get the platinum. But those are the two I would say are the platinum killers for PUBG. Um, but those are the two games for the month. Let me know what you guys think of them. Are you gonna be grabbing them? Are you gonna be playing them? I mean, even if you're not gonna be playing them, make sure you still add them to your library so you own them and then you have them forever if you decide you want to play them later uh these are both really good games pubg is a really solid battle royale and i think having it free like this will mean there'll be a ton more people playing it which i'm very keen on uh because not a lot of people play it on ps4 as of now street fighter 5 is also a fantastic fighting game so two really solid games i would say this is a very very good month for playstation plus but it's just not a great month for trophy hunting on PlayStation Plus. Now, don't forget, the previous month's games will disappear on the 1st of September. So, go ahead and download those. Add them to your cart now so you don't miss out on Fall Guys and Call of Duty. And these games will be available after the 1st of September. Anyone in the comment section before the 1st of September saying, why is PUBG not free? It's because it's not the 1st of September yet. So, I get asked that question like a million times a month. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these trophies. Are you going to be going for any of them? Are you going to be playing them? I'm quite keen to play some PUBG. I, I might jump over on Twitch. Uh, I stream on Twitch three times a week and I'll, I'll probably look at playing some PUBG on Twitch. Maybe with some of you guys if you are playing in September. Let me know in the comment section down below and thank you as always for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Oh, and the trophy guides should be coming out in the next hour or so. Thanks, bye.